Welcome back to FLA Labs. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own neon sign using minimal soldering and some laser cutting. The first step is to get your file, which I had to create from scratch, and use that to cut out the profile of your neon sign. You can see here I'm using the Xtool Creative Space and my Xtool P2. This machine is great for cutting and engraving all kinds of materials. It made quick work of the half inch clear acrylic for this project. I'm not sponsored by Xtool, but I'd like to be. So uh, if you guys are watching, give me a holler. The step that we skipped was creating the cut file. and Basically all you need is a channel that's wide enough for your chosen LED strip to fit in. This flexible LED strip is great because you can cut it to whatever length you need, so as I press it in the channel and form it to the shape of the letters, I can just cut it wherever I need to. At this point it's already looking pretty great, but in order for it to be a neon sign it should probably light up, so let's get started on the wiring. First I go through and mark the ends of the LED strips so I know what piece goes where. I just use dots because written language is hard for me, I'm a simple man. Now that I've marked which pieces of LED strip will go where, I'll pop them back out and start preparing them for soldering. You'll need to cut away a bit of the silicone that protects the LED strip. This will expose the solder pads that we'll use for connecting the LED strips to each other. I like to add a bit of solder to each of the pads. This will make it easier to connect our jumper wires. Usually there's a symbol for positive and negative on the other side of this LED strip. You can't see it here, but if you peel up that little end, you'll be able to see the markings on the other side. Once the jumper wires are attached, we can press the LED strip back in place. Now I'm trimming off the excess jumper wire and preparing the ends to be connected to the next LED strip. This little stripping tool makes it easy to strip thin wires. And then I tin the ends of the wire with a little solder to help make the process go more smooth. Pay close attention to the polarity because if you do it wrong, the LEDs won't light up. I decided to feed this portion of the LED strip from its center. That just made the most sense so the jumper wires would be as short as possible between the A and the S. You might be wondering why I've decided to make a NASA neon sign instead of something else, maybe even one promoting my business. Well the first reason is because I'm a huge space nerd, but this sign will actually be donated to a silent auction that will be used as a fundraiser for a local school to send kids to space camp. I went to space camp when I was a kid, so I try to contribute something each year to their fundraiser. The next step is to drill a small hole for the power cord. I realize that some of you watching won't have access to the tools necessary to build this project. Or maybe you don't want to build one at all and you just enjoy watching this kind of content. Either way, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in buying one of these little neon signs for yourself. That would be a great way for you to show your support and help me continue to make projects like this. Another great way would be to leave a comment or share this video with a friend. Alright, that's enough shameless self-promotion for now, let's just watch quietly while I finish up the project.
This LED strip runs on 12 volts, so I was able to buy a simple wall block for it. You'll have to check the voltage on whatever LED strip you use. Now I'm just using some glue to secure the jumper wires so they don't get caught on anything. And a little glue at the base so the power cord doesn't get pulled out. And that's it, our very own NASA neon sign. Now let's just take a minute to appreciate how pretty this thing is. Thanks so much for watching to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you think you'd like to see more content like this. See you next time.